In the 1960s, Swedish engineers at Saab pursued a tailless double delta wing aircraft, the J-35. Despite its unproven technology, the aircraft faced numerous problems during its initial service life, including difficulty landing due to its unstable design. This led to the discovery of a unique maneuver known as the Cobra. Test pilots learned to control an uncontrollable stall at high alpha by negating the angle of attack to counter the suspension. This maneuver turned the airframe into its own air brake, reducing its speed instantly, making the Saab 35 an iconic icon. After World War II, Sweden developed advanced jet fighter technology, anticipating the need for a supersonic fighter capable of intercepting and engaging bombers at high altitudes. In 1948, the Swedish Air Force announced requirements for a leading-edge interceptor, requiring the aircraft to attack hostile bombers in the transonic speed range. The top speed requirement was revised in 1956 to Mach 1.7 and raised to Mach 2 three years later. The cockpit had to accommodate a single pilot and enable combat operations in all weather conditions. The aircraft had to operate out of austere airstrips and be simple enough for conscripts with minimal training to refuel and rearm within 10 minutes. Unlike the F-104 Starfighters, the Nordic creation had to operate from reinforced public roads during the Cold War. Saab was chosen to protect against potential nuclear threats by using public roads as part of wartime air bases. Engineers and designers faced a challenging task in designing an advanced interceptor aircraft. Initial studies suggested a delta wing configuration could address most critical issues, but it tended to experience higher drag. To achieve optimized aerodynamics, the forward fuselage had to be extended, resulting in an excessively heavy aircraft. To address this, the designers chose a unique radical approach, a double delta wing. However, this configuration was untested and required extensive wind tunnel testing. Live flight tests provided valuable insights, and over 500 technicians, led by aviation engineer Eric Bratt, built a small but flyable test aircraft, the Saab 210 Little Draken or Little Dragon. The subscale Saab 210 flew for the first time over Stockholm in 1952, and the results supported the order for three full-size prototypes. Three years later, the first full-size Draken conducted its maiden flight. The first prototype of the Saab 35 aircraft, equipped with an afterburner, successfully completed its first flight. However, an intensive flight test program was required to fully define the aircraft's exceptional speed, range, and complex systems. The second prototype, equipped with an afterburner, unintentionally broke the sound barrier while climbing. The double delta configuration was not only functional but also exceptional. The Cobra maneuver, discovered in the 1960s by Swedish Saab pilots, demonstrated the Saab 35's tremendous maneuverability.
the Saab 35 was twice as capable as other single-engine jets of its era, making it possible to dispense with a tailplane altogether. The result was a sleek but straightforward profile, with a distinctive double delta wing, a circular fuselage, and a large cord surface extending almost to the engine intakes. The leading edge of the inner wing had an 80-degree sweep, while the outer wing was angled at 60 degrees for lower speeds. Overall, the Saab 35 proved to be extremely capable. The Draken, a Swedish high-altitude interceptor, was introduced in late 1959. The first Swedish Air Force wing to receive the type was F-13, stationed at Norrköping. By the end of 1960, multiple wings were already equipped with the Draken and had achieved operational status. The J-35 Draken was primarily designed for air defense, but an improved version, the J-35B, was developed, featuring an enhanced power plant, license-built Rolls-Royce, Avon 200-300 engine, or Svenska fleet motor, RM6BC, enlarged afterburner and redesigned rear fuselage. It also had a new Saab-built S7 collision course gunsight and fire control radar, and integration with the air defense control network Strel-60. Over 651 Dragons were manufactured with six different versions. Two additional models were offered for export, primarily to Denmark and Finland, equipped with a Ferranti-built Air Pass 2 fire control radar. The ground mapping mode worked in conjunction with navigation systems, and the SOD-35 was successful both inside and outside Sweden. The Draken was a Swedish short instrumentation aircraft with modern avionics, including a three-actus autopilot. Its cockpit featured two separate radio units, a high-speed data link, and two navigation systems. The fuselage had a front and rear section bolted together, with a forward section integrated with Intec ducts. The rear portion contained the power plant, afterburner bag-type fuel tanks, main landing gear, drogue parachute, and armament. The main armament was carried externally with up to four AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles. Alternative payloads included bombs, rockets, and provisions for installing 30mm cannons within each inboard wing panel. The J-35 could be fitted with various camera pods underneath the fuselage for reconnaissance. The design saw several upgrades, with the last being the J-35J produced in the late 1980s. The Draken was replaced by the Saab 37 Viken and was phased out by 1999. The aircraft left a remarkable legacy with its double delta configuration, becoming increasingly popular at Saab. It remained in use until the mid-2000s through a service life extension program, ending its service life after roughly five decades.